Police arrested them for protesting on I-94 last year, and this morning they'll face a judge for the first day of their trial. The group was demonstrating after the Philando Castile shooting. Our Mary McGuire live in St. Paul with what we can expect today. Mary. Good morning to you, Jason. Well, a Ramsey County judge has been seeing groups of these protesters since August, and this morning he will see five more who are charged with misdemeanor crimes like public nuisance and unlawful assembly. Now, both of those charges, they are misdemeanors again, and they stem from the role those people played in these protests that happened in the days after Philando Castile was shot and killed in July of last year. Now, traffic was stopped for about five hours during the long and sometimes violent protests where rocks, bottles, and Molotov cocktails were thrown at officers. Castile was killed by former police officer Geronimo Yanez at a traffic stop in Falcon Heights after Yanez said he saw Castile reaching for a gun. Yanez was ultimately acquitted in June. Now, one more court date dealing with these protesters is set for late November. Again, the first round of those trials did begin in August, Jason. Mary, you were in the courtroom back in August. Tell us uh, once again what happened back then. Well, I think sometimes when people hear the word trial, they think of something out of law and order, and that was not the case back uh, in August. Three protesters, they went before a judge in August, and they all pleaded guilty. They were given identical uh, punishments of one year of probation and about a $186 fine. The judge also gave them some time to speak openly to the courtroom about why they decided to protest. So it was very... Um, it was a casual uh, court hearing back sure. in August, Jason. Yep, as befits uh, maybe a misdemeanor type charge. Mary, thank you. Today, 